If you're watching this, you've probably recently heard about the benefits of PRL-853. It has recently sparked the interest of the scientific community for its ability to improve memory recall scores by up to two times in some patients. But is it safe? In this video we analyze the results made in the clinical studies performed on PRL-853. This video is a summarization of our full blog post that you can find at Swixis. PRL-853 is a molecule of research that was first created in the 1970s. Students have long recognized the nootropic properties of the compound and is commonly used to boost cognitive function and memory. However, despite this positive anecdotal reports, there has been relatively little research performed on this nootropic, and only one in humans. This was a clinical double-blind study performed in 1978, looked at the research molecule's effectiveness during memory recall tests. The researchers found there to be a significant correlation between taking the compound and high scores on the memory test. Improvements by up to 200 percent were observed amongst elderly subjects. Researchers even noted that most of the patients were able to better recite the correct order of words up to four days after the test. Research and animal models support this improvement of cognitive function. Improvements were noted to be a product of increased cholinergic response. Nevertheless, Hansel, 1973 found the drug to potentiate dopamine and cause partial serotonin inhibition. However, no signs of amphetamine-like stereotypic behavior are seen after doses up to 200 mg per gram per kilogram in rat. Study lead the scientists to conclude that the compound is of likely that of low toxicity. And like a lot of the more traditional nootropics at G-Racidums, there is not enough evidence to justify the effectiveness of this nootropic. Despite not being approved by the FDA, the positive feedback on Pro 852 continues to grow. Researchers should continue to observe the potential for using this nootropic in the treatment of age-related memory disorders. Make sure to like and subscribe. I will be providing many more research videos for various nootropic compounds.